with 3,209 pipes. This is one of the most impressive instruments in the country. It's like having a whole symphony orchestra in controlled by one person. But after nearly 90 years in service, St Peter's Cathedral decided it was time for a tuner. She's a grand old lady who got a bit tired, put it that way. Every single pipe was pulled out in July last year and shipped to England. We closed the cathedral for four weeks completely and uh, where we're standing now was full of pipes, the pews were pushed out. The leather work was redone, the bellows were re-leathered, all the leather components were re-leathered, uh, all the pipes were washed and then they went on the voicing machine. The cathedral pulled out all the stops to make the project happen, raising nearly $1.7 million. While the restoration was underway, the cathedral's organist made do with an electric instrument. The digital organ that we've had here has been a really good stopgap measure, uh, but there's absolutely nothing like sitting here at this organ um, and getting to play on one of Adelaide's finest musical instruments. After more than three years silent, this restored organ gets its public unveiling at a service on Sunday night. For the cathedral, it marks the start of celebrations for the landmark's 150th anniversary. Once we've got it going again, um, you know, we're hoping people really, really will enjoy it, not just those who are churchgoers. The cathedral's also completed the original vision for the organ, building casework that was designed in 1929 but never finished. And while it's mostly used in church services, the organ's also played at official functions, state funerals and other concerts. Might even be the first time that's been played in St Peter's Cathedral. Who knows? Casey Briggs, ABC News, Adelaide.